Good morning. Well, actually, afternoon. I uh, recorded a video that was like 25, 30 minutes long, only to find out when I took it out of the camera, the card wasn't fully inserted. And yet, it was a great video, in my mind. I found out an interesting fact. I don't have to put a destination into autopilot in full self-drive. I just have to turn it on and it takes a ride by itself. So we're going to take a ride with this car. There are cars coming in both directions and you'll notice that it is creeping out there. That's good. There's a, no cars coming to the left. There is a car coming to the right. And I would go. And it went very good. Good girl. Okay, you can tell when this icon is blue, it is driving. This tells the maximum speed the car will go as it's currently set. This is what it saw on the speed limit signs, and this is how fast it's going. It's really going, we're going 23 miles an hour currently. In the neighborhoods, I like to slow it to 20, so I change the max to 20, and this will drop to 20. Now, the car is choosing where we go. So we're going to make a right-hand turn. Now, that being said, it has gone the same way pretty much every time I've let it drive. I found this out yesterday that it likes to take Sunday drives. And I recorded this once to no avail, not recording it to anything. It's going to come up here to a basketball court that you're going to see. It knows that that's a trash can salt. It comes a little too close to this thing for me, but it was it far enough away that it wouldn't hit it? Yeah. Now, it wants to make a right-hand turn here, and you can see it turned the blinkers on. It did all of that. It has a... Oh, a left-hand turn. Excuse me. Uh, as you can see, it um, hesitates quite a bit when it... Even though there were no cars coming. I think we make a right-hand turn here. Yep, we're making a right-hand turn here. Again, it knew that was a trash can. If you saw it on the display, well, I'll make, I'll make it a little bigger for you here. There are no cars coming to the left, although there's a bend there, and a car is coming, approaching that bend. Pulled out way in time for that car way in the background i wish you could see that but well, you could but let's put it this way there's more in the football field between us when it gets to this corner here it makes a right hand turn must have friends on the route. Maybe it's looking for other Teslas. I, I, I don't really know what the AI of driving, self-driving is. You can notice, though, I am paying attention. I am holding my hands on the wheel. I do have my feet flat on the floor, I, but I can press the brake as quickly as possible, whether it's on the gas pedal or not. Okay, there is a car behind us, and so it's going to be slow, unfortunately, to where I wouldn't want to go that. And if I were behind the car, uh, behind this car, I would have thought to myself, what are you doing? But he was going the other way, so good, he's not behind me. Now, unfortunately, if it were going to make a right-hand turn here, even though that sign says no turn on red, it would try to make that right hand turn. It does, it's not smart enough for that. That's why it's under beta testing. 
you notice it knew the light was green it actually hesitates a little bit there was a nag telling me put your hands on the wheel so this is going to be a much shorter drive than the original uh, one that I filmed but didn't film I wish you could just turn on the blinker and tell it to turn at the next intersection uh, and it doesn't work that way you kind of have to have a location so let me do this uh, it nagged, nagged me again to put a little tension on the wheel which I did And nag me again you notice I put a little tension on the wheel I'm gonna you notice I didn't use my blinker it does I don't okay there's no way out of here except to make a uh, turn I believe at the end I don't know I've only been down here a couple of times so I really don't know yeah, I thought it ended there. Yeah, that's a dead end that way. So it had to make a right here, and then it has to find its way out. You'll notice it knew a trash can and the car was there. It's going to notice that trash can, that trash can. I wish we could see some people because it definitely sees people. It knows that they're walking the dog, but you don't see the dog yet. Um, but... You, you, it comes, it drives a little um, too fast in the neighborhood. So if there's a person, it does slow down, which is pretty impressive. Okay, we are going to make a right-hand turn here. Unfortunately, because the stop sign is back there, it thinks it has to stop before that sign unless there's a definite line in the road. And unfortunately, even if the line is way back and you can make a right on red, it stops back there. And if anybody's behind you, like, why did you stop here? Oh, it did find its way out of there. A nag again, I had to put pressure on the wheel. Little phantom brake there. Another phantom brake. And I don't believe it actually puts its foot on the brake. It just takes its foot off the accelerator. And because it has regen braking, it feels like the brakes are put on just now. It did that. coming up to this red light here and there is no turn on red we'll see for some reason it thought that light was green I need to report that
Yes, we have a little button here that sends those clips. I, I know I told you that in the previous video, but I'm not sure that I did in this one. Anyhow, I'm going to sign off for now and because I was going to go get some lunch and found out I hadn't recorded the thing. So, goodbye.